Hey everybody, thank you. This is Goddess Kendra. Thank you for to my supporters and my haters. If you are new to watching a video, don't forget to please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, thumb the video up, and leave your opinion. Today I'm doing a review on Jocelyn's Cabaret Atlanta uh, Season 2. Talking about sh uh, title, Show Me What You Got. So basically... Miss Natural and Jocelyn sit and talk and Jocelyn really thinks that Miss Natural's crazy but she's willing to give her a chance. Jocelyn says, Okay, yeah, you got your uh you got your issues with your son, but my baby daddy tried to take my daughter away from me. So I totally get it, but there's no excuse for you to be acting crazy. Pretty much, uh, they're both upset at, uh, Miss Yummy. So then Miss Yummy, Yummy P walks in the room with Lexi Blow and Big Lex. And honestly, I like Lexi Blow. She was wanting to hear what Miss Yummy P had to say. Basically, Big Lex is like, I'm gonna beat your ass or whatever. We don't trust you. But she's like, uh, Lexi Blow is like, let... Her say her piece and relax I mean she's like you know you can't mess it up for everybody and then Yummy's defense Mar was like this girl has problems and pretty much you can't um I can't fix this and I said that stuff because she was just verbally assaulting me or whatever so then uh the ladies wake up early and they make breakfast for Jocelyn and Ballistic. And then Ballistic ends up telling Jocelyn that Boss Tech comes in his room and the studio and I talk to him. And she's like, you better stay off my man. They eat their breakfast and then the ladies finally decide to go and... um. It was like they were separate, so... Miss Natural talked to a set of ladies and then the other, it was like the house was divided and she was like, girl, I didn't know if he was going to stay or go in his mug. You know what I mean? Things have been crazy. Are you all right? I wasn't expecting to see you. Everything was okay. Then Charles calls up and is like, okay, y'all, y'all finna, uh, dance so she broke it up and said to three she made yummy and miss natural stand next to each other that was the first set of ladies that did the routine right then boss tech and the other set of ladies did it and then the third set of ladies including the captain sapphire did the routine and basically jocelyn's like y'all did the worst and then the captain's like i should have been bringing my a game but i'm tired and jocelyn's like there's no excuse and then even Jocelyn was doing the routine wrong. Ballistic's like, you did it too quick. And he was like, whoever can't keep up has to go. I honestly don't feel that Yummy is like an evil person. You can't keep verbally assaulting someone and expecting them to be quiet. Like if you, I am the sweetest person, I will have your back. Now, if I don't know you, I'm more like, hmm, you know what I mean? But, like, Miss Natural deserved what um, was coming to her. You know Yummy don't fight. She was really nice to you. And this is why I tell people you can't get emotionally attached to people that you don't know like that. And I feel that Miss Natural had been taking out all of her divorce cps allegedly with her son and all of her emotional shit on yummy and like a lot of people like to do this to me they like to sit up here and drain me of my energy telling me why shit's not going the way it's supposed to go and then it's emotionally draining so like she used that opportunity to unleash it when if you i couldn't personally if this is true of my child or was in the system to go leave, go on a damn show. No, the babies come first. Then she was crying 
oh, I'm just known as a porn star, but like you looked it crazy the way you were doing that. So like me, if I know I'm not a fighter, I can hurt you with my words. So Jocelyn ends up telling the ladies like pretty much um, that she's picking the ladies, I guess, next time or they're going to have some like pre-dance thing. Oh no! Or no! And the then after the ladies leave, Miss uh, Yummy P was like, "Thank you for giving me the opportunity to dance. I'm sorry." Jaws was like, "I don't. You don't get the right to talk to me." And even Ballistic was upset that Yummy said what she said. But this is what I be telling the people: be careful what the fuck you say because you never know who's freaking listening. And like, if Jocelyn really felt that. Miss Natural was toxic. I would have talked to her and not behind her back. And I definitely did not like how Miss Jocelyn Hernandez was body shaming Chanel TCO. At the end of the day, Miss Jocelyn, everybody does not have the opportunity to get like breast augmentation and stomach suck. Yes, her stomach was poking out, but that girl's not fat. I have a bigger gut than her. I'm just saying, body shaming is so beyond me. Like, the only time I would ever come for a, a, a bitch, and this has happened before, where a really overweight, well-looking bitch call me fat, but bitch, you're always going to be 300 plus pounds fatter than me. Shut your dumb ass up. And this is why I feel like Jocelyn could be fake at times, and she doesn't care about the ladies. She'll pretend to be her friend, and then she will... um kind of stab you in the back she called yummy a alley cat she's called her crispy she's shitting on her situation with her mother like you was selling a whole pussy in puerto rico where the fuck was your mom bitch i'm just saying like people be so rude so we will see next week what happens thank you everybody for listening have a wonderful day